we have gotten all of the emblems. We got the achievement heirlooms, and as you can see, we have I have not opened any of these. Hopefully, Ada's emblems will answer a lot of questions we had, especially concerning Carla. So Zero is gonna start us off. So let's get with the first one. Ada Wong, not much is known about the international spy, including her age, or who she works for, or even her true name, as well as her aims, remain a mystery. What is known that is that no matter how difficult her mission may be, she has the brains and physical ability to pull them off without a hitch. While there is a stoicism in her demeanor, it is her poise and sangfloid. I really hope I pronounced that correctly, I uh, that she is known for. She appears to be working towards a specific goal, and once she accomplishes it, she is the type that would have no qualms about betraying her handlers. <clears throat> In 1998, she went to Raccoon City with the intent of secreting out a sample of the G-Virus. It was there that she first met Leon Kennedy, a rookie cop at the time, following the events of Raccoon City. She has been known to offer aid to Leon on his missions, but mostly as a ploy to enlist his help. Currently, Ada has snuck aboard a submarine. After being contacted by Derek Simmons, a man she hasn't heard from since the Raccoon City incident, while on the submarine, she discovers a mission that was never fielded to her, and a terrible speak secret that shall spur her to action. What form these actions shall take, anyone says. I feel like that voice would have more of an impact if you did it the whole time. <laughs> Probably. Report on Jake Mueller, Mr. Simmons. The mission to find the son of Albert Wesker has been completed. I have confirmed that Jake Mueller is the biological son of Wesker. Name, Jake Mueller, age 20. Citizenship, Republic of Edonia. Physical characteristics, Caucasian, 190 centimeters, blue eyes. Has been in the employ of Edonian mercenaries for five years. Has trained or fought in all parts of Europe, the Middle East, and South America. A DNA sample from Mueller proved his relationship to Wesker. Wesker's alleged immunity to viral infection has manifested itself in Mueller. Unfortunately, the DNA sample I attained would not be enough to assist with the C-Virus research. A bodily fluid, blood, saliva, or bone marrow sample would be required. It is my recommendation that you dispatch your top agent to secure a tissue sample from Mueller. End. Well then. Submarine. Edo sneaks on to a submarine in order to find out what Derek Simmons is planning. When she gets there, she finds that security systems respond to her fingerprints and voice. And there is information on her that no one should have. Throughout the submarine, Derek's hand can be seen in it at all. The room decor, the layout, it's a mystery as to who built this submarine and for what purpose. Hmm. Oh, wow, if I get all the easy ones. The Nesdale? <laughs> is a creature that results from high-level mutation brought on by exposure to the C-Virus. Gnesdo is derived from the Serbian word for hive. These small creatures have the appearance of hornets and they can form a swarm that mirrors the size and shape of a human being. Oh god, these things. Just as with ants and bees, the Gnesdo behave with a hive mindset, but each individual creature has its own role to play. Where the Gnesdo differ is that their queen does not continue to propagate the species, but serves only as a commander, giving out orders like a general to an army. The sensory per perceptions are shared between the queen and the individual Nesdo. If the queen is lost, the swarm will dissolve, as long as she lives, however, the swarm will remain intact and follow her commands. The queen is hard to spot among the swarm as it attempts to conceal and protect her. An attack on the swarm will momentarily scatter the Nesdo, revealing the queen and exposing her to danger. Usually a couple of feet away from the queen. Yeah. I mean, from the swarm. You know, it's just a little weird. Anyways, uh... Oh, this one. Ada and Derek... Derek Simmons believes in world stability, and he, along with the family, believe in preserving that stability, even if they have to act illegally to do so. When Derek first met Ada Wong, it caused a ripple in his normal, logical, unperturbed 
personality. Her skills as a spy were unparalleled, and the missions she carried out for him were instrumental in his goals. A fracture in their relationship was formed when Derek, when Ada learned that Derek was behind the operation to raise Raccoon City. Realizing it was dangerous to keep uh, company with Derek, Ada left his employee never looking back. From this point on, Derek has become maniacal in his plans to get back Ada, whether it was because he felt an emotional attachment to her or because he thought she was the only woman whose intelligence could match his own is unknown, but this monomania with Ada led him to put a sinister plan in action. Which we'll probably learn about. Scorched Earth. Operation Basilisk Terminate was the name for the missile strike ordered by the U.S. government to halt the spread of the virus in Raccoon City in 1998. The decision to raise the city of 100,000 killing infected... <laughs> Sorry. Is your phone like always like really close to your microphone? Usually. Okay. I really shouldn't have it there, but it's like the only place I can reach it. Um, the Sorry. decision it's fine. The decision to raise the city of one hundred thousand killing infected and survivors alike came from Derek C. Simmons, a high ranking government official. Was it known that he did that? Or did we just know it happened? Huh. Oh. Uh, because this is the first I've heard of who actually who ordered that. Um. Like, did you know it was him? Not specifically. Oh. Uh, but then again, it might have said specifically that it was Simmons. But... It only said that, so I've only seen, like, it mentioned who did it in, a in these emblems, in Ada's emblems. Yeah. Um, the only thing I remember from two regarding it was that it was uh, members, is that it was decided among members uh, in high in the U.S. government, both with and without connections to Umbrella, to uh, raise it. <laughs> So the virus was already in Raccoon City. Derek Simmons just ordered the the raise of the city. Yeah. So he wasn't responsible for the virus. Wesker was. Uh, yes. Raccoon City was a case study for his future plans as he believed the world would stop using traditional weapons and switch over to bio weapons. The data provided by Raccoon City allowed him to assess the, the efficiency of such weapons. But he made certain that the truth of Umbrella's involvement in their bio weapons program would never be known. Eager to resolve the issue as quickly as possible, he urged the more hawkish members of the president's administration to eradicate Raccoon City for the sake of the country. The attack on Tall Oaks was devised by Simmons to show the world and dubious officials in government the threat bioweapons pose in the hands of terrorists, as well as to prevent President Benford from revealing the truth behind Raccoon City. Note found in a laboratory. To my dear sister Helena, I'm sorry I was never the good sister I should have been. Even though you love me unconditionally, I'm sorry for everything. They injected me with something. It's making me forget things. Who I am. Who you are. I don't want that. Please know that I've always loved you, too. I don't want to leave you. Hope you find someone to love. You don't want to forget. Love you. Damn. Oh, I was wondering about that gap between when they took uh, Deborah and when she was left in that, on that slab. Yeah. The Shrieker is a type of zombie that can summon other zombies by emitting a large sound that stimulates their aural faculties. In addition, zombies' nervous systems react to the sound, and this reaction causes them to behave more violently. If something were to interfere with the sound the Shrieker is emitting, it will change to a high-frequency sound that will overload the oral receptors in the zombie's brains and destroy that part of it. That's interesting. Man. Uh, there were two. <laughs> there are reports of two Ada Wands involved in the current crisis. One of them is the famed spy that came, that comes to the aid of Leon Kennedy from time to time. The other Ada Wand is the leader of Neil Umbrella. 
and the one responsible for introducing Lavo to Edonia six months prior. The former is the true Ada Wan, and the later is a copy created by Derek Simmons, utilizing the C virus, fake Ada, contacts real Ada, telling her about the impending biohazard to be unleashed in China. The real Ada decides to go to China to find out what the imposter's intentions are. Ooh, we're getting into it. Oh, uh, by the way, the, um, bit with, uh, Helena, or sorry, with Deborah, um, like, you saw how she was, like, slowly losing her ability to write coherently? Yeah. That's a thing that has been repeated throughout the series since the first game, uh, is infected people slowly losing their intelligence. <laughs> that sucks. But when they found, uh, Deborah, Yeah, I she, mean, She knew Helena's don't... name. Yeah. But that was, like, literally it. Ada in Raccoon City. In 1998, Albert Wesker, Jake Mueller's father, sent Ada Wong on a mission in Raccoon City to retrieve a sample of the Z-Virus William Birkin was hoarding for himself. So that kind of ties up that loose end, because we hear that Albert Wesker sent someone to get the G-Virus... And then we hear that Ada Wong was on a mission in Raccoon City, and so this kind of ties those two together. Yeah. When William's wife, Annette, interfered with that mission, Ada used Leon Kennedy to have him unwillingly aid her. Ada then made her way back to Albert with a sample of the virus in hand. In 2004, Albert ordered Ada to Europe to obtain a sample of the Lost Plague as Parasite. There she encountered Leon again and ended up stealing the Parasite sample he had procured. She did not, however, hand the sample to Albert. She kept it for herself and went off the grid. She had her own intentions for keeping the virus. She was not going to allow herself to be a pawn in Albert's plan for global domination. What Ari was that? When That was four. Okay. Ah, oh, here we go, the one you want to know most of. The Family. Derek C. Simmons is the current head of a secret organization known only as The Family. The Family was founded by one of Derek's ancestors before the United States was even founded, and its vast network of wealth and power extends throughout the globe. The Family has been manipulating the course of human development for a long time. Their ostensible goal is to maintain stability in the world, but its true motivation lies in exploiting events to benefit its members. For now, they believe maintaining that stability is contingent upon keeping the United States at the top of the pyramid of world power. And if the truth about the United States government's connections to Umbrella's bioweapons program were to get out, it would destabilize the world and remove America from the top of that hierarchy of power. Derek sets into motion a plan that will launch a bioterrorist attack and assassinate the president, thus preserving the family. Designs on power and stability. Hmm. <laughs> Bloodshot. During the biohazard incident, an extremely rare type of zombie was discovered, one that had most of its head destroyed. This creature, the creature was given the misnomer of bloodshot because all of its muscle tissue was exposed. Unlike normal zombies, this creature is incredibly agile and the speed with which it will attack and devour flesh is incomparable. These differences are thought to be a mutation brought on by the sea virus. Which creature was this? Uh, that's the, like, all red zombie. The one that you're like, oh, he hits you and he takes away so much health and he's unfair. I said that about a lot of them. Uh, okay, sometimes random regular zombies will mutate into him. We already saw that one, though. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that it said anything about it in the files until now. Uh -huh. Carlo Radamas Here was responsible go. for the discovery of the C-Virus and a close confidant of Derek C. Simmons. Okay, so she's not his wife. I was wrong. A prodigy in her youth, Carla completed a doctorate course in genetics 
when she was only 15, after which she was recruited by Derek to work for him manufacturing viruses in BOWs. Derek praised her for her intelligence and successful research, and his praise increased her devotion to it. One way she tried to earn his praise was by developing the C-Virus. As it would turn out, she was nothing more than a tool for him to accomplish his goals. The person, Carla Radama, ceased to exist when she was used against her will in Derek's experiment to recreate Ada Wong. Okay, so she was... Damn. Just, okay, so she wasn't his wife. I'm sorry, that picture was very misleading. A doctorate in genetics? In yeah. At, at age 15, yes. So her intelligence could rival Ada's. That explains why he chose her, though. Because remember it said that in... That it wasn't known whether he was emotionally infatuated with Ada or because she was the only one who could match his intelligence. Clearly, Carla... Yeah. ...has also a shit ton of intelligence. Holy shit. Here we go. Finally getting more on this. Derek Simmons used countless test subjects in his efforts to clone Ada Wong. The main impediment to those efforts was finding subjects with compatible genetic structure. Using the extensive resources of the family, Derek learned that one of his own researchers, a Carla Radames, would be a suitable candidate. Derek tricked Carla into taking part in the experiment because she believed Derek valued her and her work too much to risk her. She was wrong, and Derek succeeded in creating the clone of Ada he had desired. While Carla looked and behaved similar to Ada, there was still a piece of her that remained Carla. Derek's relationship with Ada had only been professional, so he couldn't see that this clone was not the real Ada. Huh. Huh. Oh. Whether through misguided affections or a desire to revenge himself on Ada, he ignored any nagging doubt and began to tra train and treat Carla as if she were the real Ada Wong. Carla, having lost most of her personality during the experiment, behaved as Derek wanted. But in the depths of her soul, there was still a spark of Carla's original self, and once it came to the surface, she vowed to destroy Derek, the man who had ruined her life. From Carla's papers, it won't be long before everything he ever feared will come true. My special pet resting beneath the sea will be ready soon. All my little cocoons will also hatch shortly. My greatest creation will be the very undoing of everything he has worked for. It would be a shame, though, if he wasn't read, uh, ready to live in a world of nightmares. I'll make his body a living reflection of the horrors I've unleashed. The world will be so far removed from the stability he craves, it will be complete chaos. And that chaos will destroy his body. Damn. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Unlimited transformations. Carla Radames thinks she can attack China and unleash chaos on the world, but Derek Simmons had a plan for stopping her and she is gravely injured. If I'm going to die, then I'll make sure the world he loves dies with me. With her last ounce of energy, she injects herself with an extremely potent strain of the C-Virus. It's the same strain one of her subordinates injected in Derek. In her infected state, she merges her body with that of an aircraft carrier, transforming herself into something decidedly not human. She can also create human-sized doppelgangers of herself, Carla's spores. These avatars of Carla's insanity still resemble Ada Wong, proving that Derek's experiment damaged her psyche more than even she had realized. That's horrible. Oof. That's horrible. Complete mutations. After a human is injected with the C-virus and turns into a Yava, virus will continue to mutate the host until its entire body is covered by a tough human-like structure. Inside this chrysalid, the virus will dissolve the host's body composition and reform it, thus giving birth to a completely different creature from the Wabo. These creatures are referred to as complete mutations. Derek C. Simmons sought to harness this mutation process when he tried to recreate Ada Wan, but ended with a number of failed mutations instead. Le Piazza and Nzido are two examples of these failures. Derek persevered, sorry, preserved the female aspect, but nothing else. Little else. <laughs> or little else. Oh! I guess that it does make 
least now Some that it sense. makes sense. I told you that the was. Nesta looked like it was a shape of a woman. Oh, I agree. <laughs> I just, I was like, why? Yeah. Uh, Derek's researchers le soon learned that by mixing the sea virus with the DNA of living specimens, they could create complete mutations that preserved the strong features of reptilian and mammalian species being able to determine the final outcome for the complete mutation was a key component creating of creating reliable bioorganic weapons. This research was instrumental in stabilizing the C virus in creating something that would birth multiple bioweapons. The enhanced C-Virus was created by strengthening the C-Virus with Jake Mueller's blood. This enhanced virus was engineered by Carla Radames by taking the elements of Jake's blood that were resistant to viral infection and using them to re-engineer the C-Virus into a more potent virus. When a host is infected by the normal C-Virus, the host will eventually become encased in a cocoon before emerging as a new creature. With the enhanced version, not only does it strengthen the host, but it removes the need for a chrysalis stage. This host can continue to mutate indefinitely into new forms without compromising its cellular integrity, aka how Simmons was able to do his shit. The enhanced C-Virus is incredibly difficult to manufacture, and only Carla has the know-how to do it successfully. As such, only a limited amount of the enhanced C-Virus is known to exist. When Derek C. Simmons was betrayed by Ada Wong following the Raccoon City incident, it was the first time he'd ever felt emotional stress. He felt that if he could not have the real Ada Wong serving him faithfully, then he would create one to do so. He decided to use the C-Virus, a virus with unlimited potential to change the human body, on its creator in order to recreate his beloved Ada. No one knows how many lives Derek sacrificed in order to realize that goal. When he succeeded with Carla, he was overcome with joy, but Carla had not completely lost herself in the process, and she hated Derek for what he did to her. Eventually, she would see to it that he was injected with a potent strain of the C-Virus, one that would cause his body to mutate painfully into hideous creatures without end. In the end, he was killed by Ada Wong. So it was one of the members of the family, I assume, that killed uh, fake Ada Wong. Yeah, probably. Carla's Revenge. Carla Radamitz was reborn as Ada Wong because of the experiment Derek Simmons forced her into and the subsequent training she received following her transformation. Unknown to Derek, Carla retained some remnants of herself in the deepest recesses of her psyche, and this part of her was determined to undo everything Derek had done. Carla secretly founded the Neo Umbrella Organization so she could perfect the C-Virus, something that would be instrumental in her plans to destabilize the planet, an idea that was anema, anema? To Derek. anathema. Anathema to Derek. Her plan was to launch missiles loaded with the gas that would turn people into zombies and un to unleash the ultimate B.O.W. on the unsuspecting world. Chaos. Her plan to wreak havoc in China would have gone off without any real problems, but for one incomprehensible act. She contacted the real Ada Wong and involved her in the situation. Whether she did this in some vain attempt to destroy the original Ada and leave only herself, or to have Ada save her, no one can say. <sighs> Alright, figuring time. Ada Wong. Sorry, boys. No time. My dad's car. Does Ada off. have a regular pistol, even? She just has an Uzi. <laughs> yeah. I think that is the, her pistol, just the Uzi. Yeah, but in this figurine, she's holding a normal one. <laughs> Which Ada are you looking at? Uh, Ada Wong is all it says. <laughs> Top, the one in the red shirt. I guess that's a... I can't tell if it's a pistol or a magnum. You sure it's not an Uzi? That's... No, the Uzi has, like, another... Uh, slide bolt to it or something. It, it's that looks a like little... a magnum almost, actually. I don't know if it that's is a really big gun. Yeah. 
Now we go to Carla Rodamez. So she's not his wife. I was wrong about that. Can you feel it spreading through your body yet? Oh, you know what? She had less boob physics than Sherry. Which is... I don't know. It's just kind of weird that Sherry had boob physics like that. <laughs> well, I mean, they wanted to be realistic. Oh, hello, Leon Kennedy. Fair enough. Rare. Nice pose. Woo. Very nice pose. Elena Harper. Oh, Deborah. Yeah, that sucks. Ingrid Hunnigan. Roger that. I'll map out the safest access route. Hmm. Here's Nivens, rare. Oh, because that's when he has his arm. Captain! Oh. Slightly ahead. Zombies. Yeah, those sure are zombies. Yeah. Their eyes are yellow. That's creepier than anything. Zombie dog. Zombie C. dog. C. Oh, that's depressing. I'm, I'm turning that away. That's depressing. That poor dog. Ada Wong Rare. What the hell is that behind her? Oh, the submarine dress. Well, it's her the deep it's sea the, yeah, diving suit. suit. I'm just here to find out what you're up to. Uh, uh, surprisingly enough, a few of them look all pretty much exactly like this. That's big and bulky for no reason? Oh, it's for a reason. They have to be that big to be able to uh, withstand the pressure, store enough air, and withstand the pressure, and uh, still be able to get back up. Oh God, Carlos Spores. Oof. That's. Damn. Oof. Does look like Ada. Holy shit. That's horrible. That's just horrible, man. Leon S. Kennedy. Oh, wait, did we end up going back accidentally? Boy. Yeah. So, that's it. Alright, people. That's RE6. <sighs> Yay. I mean, we could do a whole, like, let's get all the achievements ever, but I'm... Quite frankly, too lazy to go do that. <laughs> uh, you know what? We got all the emblems. Uh, we beat it on normal. We got all the emblems. I, I, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. The only thing I do have to question is where Ada went after she blew up the lap. Oh. <laughs> uh... And my only complaint about this game is that Ada Wong's campaign did not have an ending with Ada Wong. It was Jake with an apple. I feel like that should have been like an extra scene for completing all the campaigns, not the scene at the end of Ada's campaign. Yeah. Like the fact that the end of Ada, the end of every campaign has something to do with the characters in the campaign, except for Ada's. Like, I feel like there should have been an ending with Ada, and then have the apple scene with Jake and the kid be, like, a secret ending after you beat all the campaigns, you know? Yeah. But, this was still cool. Uh, we learned about Carla, which I, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one to suspect Carla was his wife from that picture alone. But, I was wrong. Although, I'm still stuck on that doctorate at 15. 
Woo! That that that's some high intelligence. That that's some high intelligence. All right, guys. This is RE6. Um, not sure what's gonna come after this series. Um, we got a few options in mind, like Secret of Mana, um, War in the North. Oh, what were some of the others? Uh, or the continuation of the Mario Party well, series, maybe. Life is Strange. Life is Strange. Which I might actually put, because I've already done Chapter 1, so. Alright guys, see you in the next series. Mm -hmm.